Futuring Architectures is a system for ecosystem innovation and platform organization. It pairs revealing ecosystem opportunities with positioning of complementary platforms and organizing these into desirable, feasible and viable businesses. Technological revolutions come about whenever a previously scarce and expensive input becomes abundant and cheap. Water power, steam transport, steel and electricity, oil and mass transport, and now communication. The digitization of communication has unlocked some truly transformative changes. The complexity, the effort and ultimately cost involved in creating digitally is low and getting lower. And likewise, distributing bits and bytes is cheap and simple. And not only is distribution cheap, reach is almost infinite. With a digital product or a digital service, you can potentially reach 5 billion people on this planet that are connected to the internet. Zero cost and nearly infinite leverage has a profound impact on the institutions we are familiar with, the firm, the customer and the innovation. The very structure of the firm is evolving, its boundaries becoming more porous and less defined. The digital value chain increasingly allows not only third parties, but even consumers themselves to participate in the overall value creation effort. The firm's center point shifts from the means of production to the means of distribution and from management of its physical assets to management of its intellectual property. Power shifts from control of supply to control of demand. Economies organize around scarcity. The current shift in technology and media paradigms ushers an economy organized around engagement. Mass participation is the new normal. Stuff is cheap. Status comes from creation. Value is created by engagement. From Wikipedia entries, to Google queries, to mechanical Turk services, to Airbnb, to Uber, to Kaggle analysis. Burning Man sets the standard of no spectators. Makers insist that if you can't open it, you don't own it. So, Differentiation shifts from the performance attributes of a product or a service to the experience of using the offer, and power shifts from suppliers to consumers. As these forces play out, context is becoming more and more central to value creation. If we don't pay attention to the circumstances surrounding a person or an event, we are unlikely to understand how to create the greatest personalized value. Those who are most insightful and adept at understanding context across space and time will be those who create the most value, both for customers and for themselves. We might begin to harness scalable learning. The paradox is that scalable learning is much more efficient than scalable efficiency in a rapidly changing world. But it's far more. It's a way to unleash increasing returns that come from focusing on delivering more and more meaningful value in the contexts that we are addressing. Who gets to innovate in this new paradigm? We are very familiar with the expert mode of creation in which the organization not only understands the problem, it fully owns the solution to the problem. In the ecosystem mode of creation, it's not the organization that owns the solution anymore, but the user delivering a service. The organization is designing for service. That first mode of experts innovating a product or a service is well understood. It's a mode of designing of service. It comes with practices we all know, like service design, design thinking, lean startup, UX or CX. These are standard parts of the expert innovator's toolbox. That second mode, designing for service, in which users innovate on an organization's behalf, is less developed and less understood. 
There are some theories, such as complexity theory, network theory, systems thinking, but there are no best practices. We need a new toolbox. Futuring Architectures is set up as a settler that outsources its pioneering capability and equally relies on an external ecosystem to act as its own town planners. As a settler, we intend to mobilize the flow from the pioneers' disconnected theoretical frameworks to a common, well-understood and accepted town planners' practice of ecosystem innovation. As we are striving for true adoption instead of just diffusion, much of Futuring Architecture's tools will be presented in the shape of games. Simplicity and playfulness will for sure be instrumental in adoption of the tools. Here is what we are gonna do. We will be sharing all Futuring Architecture's tools, open source and free of charge. We will collect showcases of who has been using these tools and to what effect. Taken together, we will help out as much as possible on shifting organizations into the new paradigm. And here is the roadmap. We will be releasing the full game set covering discovery of ecosystem innovation opportunities, positioning your platform accordingly and organizing these into scalable and viable organizations. We will collect actual examples of the use of Futuring architectures, publish a series of in-depth descriptions, and we will be touring conference and meetups, digitally and, who knows, in real life. And of course, we will help out on organizations making that business model shift in domains as varied as embedded finance, civic innovation and education. Futuring Architectures is native to the new socio-economic paradigm. Unlike the previous generation of tools, it foregoes playing to experts and addresses the citizen designer. No consultants, boot camps or certifications, but simplicity and playfulness instead. This was Adriana. Thank you for watching.